What's up everybody? It's your boy Conrada, Conrada Kicks, coming to you with another review live from Jackson, Mississippi. Just giving you a look, look at one of my uh, favorite posters. But enough of that. What we came for, the review I have for you today is a Retro 6. And it is, the color is black, infrared 23 black. And of course, this is the black, Retro 6 black infrared that dropped on Black Friday. And um, it was a shoe that a lot of people liked, a lot of people wanted. I know I liked it a lot. And it was um, real, real general, like super general. I like, I know like most stores got like way more than they normally get. So you shouldn't have had a problem getting this shoe. Cause I know where I live at, stores that usually only get a few had a lot of, a lot of them, excuse me. So it shouldn't have been that hard to get it. Actually I won the raffle, that's why I know because I never win raffles. So that's why I feel like it was a lot of a lot of them out there. But enough of that. Here it is. Black infrared six. Now for me, I really don't like the infrared color. I really hate the infrared color. Of the fact because it looks pinkish. And that's not the original infrared. But I could not let it go without getting this shoe because it is a classic. It is an iconic classic. And anybody that knows me know how I feel about classic colorways and just iconic shoes. Because this is the first shoe that Jordan won his first championship in the Retro 6 Black Infrared. Don't get it mistaken, this is the first, the black infrared. Now, <clears throat> they came later with the black and varsity red, but Jordan first wore the black and infrared. And the infrared, it wasn't this pinkish red, it was, it was different from varsity red, but it wasn't as pinkish as they are now, as they make an infrared now for some reason. But, I mean, it seems as if the infrared looks different when it's paired to anything. So it's the way the lighting looks that sometimes it looks pinkish, sometimes it looks orange. Like through the camera, it looks pinkish. Just looking at it, it has an orange tone. But anyway, we just had to take what they gave us. But I was not gonna slip on this shoe because of the memories that it has for me. The black, the black infrared 23. Just get another look at it, a good look at it. I'm not gonna really go into a detailed review of this shoe because it's the same six that's been coming out all year. So most of you have seen the six, you know what it looks like. You can just take the same shoe and just change the color. It has the infrared color. The infrared jump man on the bottom. The icy soles. Infrared 23. Infrared lace lock. Same thing. But, and another thing that made me just really want the shoe was the fact that it had 3M the 3M underneath. So when the light hits these holes, the 3M really pops. And I thought that was a cool feature that none of the other, not even the black infrared or the black and varsity red had. But here it is, an iconic shoe. I think this is only like the second time that's been retro because the black and varsity red been retro a couple times. But I think this is like the second time that the black and infrared has been retro. But here it is. Air Jordan, black, infrared, iconic shoe. I was happy to have it. 
pretty easy pickup because there are so many out there. So that's why I say, folks, if you want this shoe, don't fall into the hype of paying 275 and 300 when I'm sure you can find this shoe out here for just a look. Because I mean, with tech retail, 185 with tax, I pay 199.80. So I'm sure you can find this shoe out here easily because it's so many easily for like 225 220 225 I wouldn't pay over that but there you have it black infrared 23 it's your boy print rider kicks coming to you live from Jackson Mississippi home of the shoe lock once again thanks for being with me like like that video comment rate it sub my channel Peace.